Hey there friends, welcome back. Today we have another Iron Man figure. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, it's been a long while. I think the Mark III, which was the last one, which is probably the most iconic of the Iron Man suits in live action, probably. And it's still, uh, I think it's my favorite still. But here is the Mark VII from the Avengers. And um, yeah, this is one of two suits featured in that film. Tony Stark wears the, the, during the first half, he wears the Mark VI, that gets damaged, then he gets the Mark VII before the final battle. You probably know this already, but to those of you who don't, there you go. And it's the latest version Lego's made. They have made one before, back in 2012, that came in the Quinjet Aerial Battle, the first big Marvel set ever to be made. And uh, I used to have that suit, I gave it away, but this is by far the better version. Uh, this is the 2023 version, so it is a bit different. Uh, here's the 360 of Iron Man here, the Armored Avenger, as he's known. And he does have a couple power blasts as his accessories. He also comes with this, which looks like a water spout, but it's actually a, like it's a little stand for him to fly on with the Quinjet. It's really awesome that they gave him this um, to have him fly alongside of it, which is really creative. Um, this one's great. I love this figure. The, 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 um, the style and the design is really nice. You can tell that this is the Mark VII. Although, I think it would have been a tiny bit nice if they, they probably would never do this. But they, this, the Mark VII has a very unique look. It almost has this big bulky look to it compared to the Mark VI, which is a little bit sleeker. Um... But on the shoulders, it's a lot bigger. Uh, it's hard to explain. If you don't know the suit look, you, you can look it up. But in that, in the Avengers, the suit has a very almost over-armored look. Uh, but especially on the shoulders. It's very heavily protected. It's got a jetpack built in. It's really sick. Um, and it has a lot of great features. Um, it just would have been cool to get like some kind of shoulder armor. But I understand they probably wouldn't do that. It just would have been cooler. But... Uh, I do prefer the earlier suits. A lot of the early, early stuff, like Iron Man 1, um, Iron Man 2, Avengers, um, Age of Ultron, and then some of the other ones, like Iron Man 3. My cutoff being Civil War, I, I don't like the suits being as digital, like the nanotech stuff. It's fine. It's cool. But I just prefer the practical look of the early suits. It just has this realistic feel. I don't know, especially in Iron Man 1, where all the suits were almost all all really suit, like they're all physical suits, which I prefer, but I understand CG is less expensive to an extent, and the nanotechs, the, all the later suits are great, but I, again, I, I just prefer the early suits, like Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, you, you know, regardless. <laughs> um, he does have some great looking suits, and this is one of them. Uh, Mark Seven's got some great look, some great details. Uh, he does have some power blasts. You, you know how these work. Press it, it shoots kind of 50% of the time it works. It's kind of hit or miss, but you know, it's a good feature for kids and you know, it does. it's pretty fun to play with, but we've seen him a billion times. And they're in the light blue, translucent blue. So it well, matches pretty well, the pulsar blast. Um, yeah. Otherwise, he's got the stand, of course, which you'll see in a short pretty soon. The biggest change that they've done to this figure, aside from the printing style, is the helmet. We'll get to that. The helmet is definitely different to the original. It's a, it's bigger, it's taller, it's pretty much better. Although, I prefer the original Iron Man helmet piece still. It just looks a lot nicer. It's a lot more proportion. And I don't know. I feel like it's a little nicer. By the way, this is the Mark VI, the original. Uh, actually, this is the original Iron Man figure that they ever... The first Iron Man that they ever did. Which is really cool. The reason I bought it is because I used to have it. It broke. Long story. But, yeah, this is also from the Avengers, the Mark VI. The original. They have an updated one now, but... I just wanted to show you that. The detail is not nearly as 
there's not as much, not nearly as much detail, but it is still very good. And I will say, I'll, I'll get to this later, but I prefer the Tony Stark head that is on that one. Um, but yeah, the, let me zoom in. You gotta see this detail. It is insane. Just how much printing is on this. Hopefully you can see it. It's like natural lighting. But look at all this. It is ridiculous. There's like shading. There is like all this different red on red on red on red. And you've got like this metallic gold with silver. It is fantastic. Just all this shiny metallic, you know, mechanical work is just great. Um, it looks so good. You know, like all, all the silver and armory bits. And it's just very nice to look at. Matching the suit exactly well. Um, you can see the back is even cooler. Got the jetpack stuff, all the flaps, all the servos and motors and Iron Man-y things, you know. And it matches the suit very well. Again, it maybe it would have been better if there was like a, a more bulky armor. Nah. Maybe they tried it. I, I, they probably tried it and it looked terrible, so, you know, whatever. Got the arc reactor in the middle. Um, looks very great. Uh, I especially love the silver. There's pretty much a lot of silver on the legs, which is pretty good. And it looks very nice. And it looks like the Mark VII. I will say, I think the Mark III is still my favorite Iron Man suit. Although the Mark VII is definitely second place. I think... Um, me, I think Mark V might be my third favorite. I don't know. There, there's a lot of good early suits. Um, it's kind of cool. Tony gets a different suit in pretty much every film. So it's kind of like a pick and choose, you know, which one you like better, which one you don't. Um, yeah. I, I wouldn't say I have a, a least favorite. Uh, well, I think the, I don't know, maybe the Mark 50 is my least favorite, but yeah, they're all great. Um, and this is probably one of the best ones. It's very iconic at this point because it had a lot of cool moments in the final battle of New York. And it lasted a long time, too, uh, surprisingly. Unfortunately, it did get destroyed when Stark's mansion got blown up. But you know what? It lasted a long enough time. So, yeah. The Mark VI definitely got more screen time in The Avengers. But that was because it was in Iron Man 2 as well. It was at the end of that film, and you didn't really get to see it that much. So it makes sense that it, that other suit gets more screen time. But the scene where the Mark VII, like appears on Tony he's like falling to his death and the pod comes out and he suits up in the air it's so cool it still is cool and seeing it in the theater was amazing but uh yeah it's really awesome um let's talk about the helmet the helmet is new or newer it's people have been complaining you know I used to hate this helmet design it's it's just different that's probably why people don't like it that much. It's not like... It's hard to explain. This original Iron Man helmet is sculpted to the, to the helmet shape in the films. Whereas this helmet is printed. So it doesn't have that 3D effect. If, if, if that makes any sense. So it's got amazing printing. Great look. But it's not 3D. If you, if you know what I mean. The rest of the helmet is. It can open. I'm not going to open it. But it can open. It's it's still new. So it's hard for me to open it. But yeah. It looks amazing. Great shiny gold finish on the front of the helmet. Looks great. It is taller. It is a bit wider. And it, 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 it takes some getting used to. I'm still getting used to it. But it is a nice helmet for sure. It's definitely better than the helmet that doesn't open. So I'll tell you that much. Um, here's the face. Hope we can see it. It's a bit blurry. But there's Tony's face, the HUD display, the battle face. Uh, it looks great. It's got the blue. This is supposed to be on the inside of the helmet. So that's just what he sees during the battle. And fun fact, um, when the Iron Man suit is in battle, the, ha the HUD turns red. When it's not, it's in blue, so it's blue. It should be red, but yeah, whatever. It's got the angry face. And then on this side, it's got the Stark smirk, which is great. Although, I don't know. I still prefer this Tony Stark head, the original. 
it just looks more like downy i don't know the mustache is better the goatee it looks better even though it's older and there's the angry face but i just prefer this this face this head but they do give him hair in the set which i think does not match tony stark at all it's black for some reason and it has it's like the hawkeye hair why i don't know it just looks weird it doesn't look like him to me i don't know the hairstyle it i mean i get what they're going for but i don't know um I, i'm not feeling it again i prefer the original head and i definitely prefer the original hair that they use for him i don't know it's you know it is what it is it's not terrible it's just not nearly as great but you're not you're probably gonna have iron man with the helmet on so it really doesn't matter you know it it just depends on if you're gonna have him without the helmet which for some displays maybe but i don't know depends on your taste but here's the old helmet you know it i don't know again it's up to taste you like this helmet i do like it better than the new one but i think the new one does look great for the set that it comes in and he also comes this version also comes in the avengers tower along with a battle damage mark six which is awesome so yeah iron man figures have always been great there have been some really rare ones he, he's typically a figure that's really expensive it depends on the armor you want but typically he is a pricey figure because he's very popular and he's very cool uh the designs are very very different but for each set which that's awesome they're still making different suits they got some comic ones in there it's very cool i think if i'm gonna get any, any other iron man suit like figures it's definitely gonna be the early ones i don't think i'll bother with any of the newer ones as cool as they are I just prefer the the realistic designs of the early films. Mark 1, definitely Mark 2. I don't think they have a Mark 4. That one never came in a set, I don't think. But Mark 5 for sure. And that's about it. Um, I'm excited to get the Mark 1. That's like the OG OG. Well, in the films at least. But yeah, that's going to be cool. Um, I love this figure. It's second favorite for me. He's going to be flying alongside the Avengers. It's going to be awesome. You'll see it in a short. Um, that's about it for Shellhead. Let me know what you think. Do you like this figure? Do you not? Do you prefer the original Mark Seven, Or do you like this new one? And what do you think of the Mark Six? And what do you think of the Avengers? Do you think it's it's a good movie? Do you think it's not? And do you think Stark should have had a different suit? Do you think he should have, sh should have stuck with the Mark Six the whole time? Let me know. And what's your favorite Iron Man suit? Leave me a comment below. I'd like to have a chat about that. Be interested to see um, what your take is on that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.